Down 19 in the first half and 12 at the half. Florida State came roaring back against NC State, tying the game at 60, but could not get over the hump, losing to the Wolfpack 73-64. to I was proud of our kids that we fought back. Plus we, we, you know, obviously we got down a large amount in the first half, uh, but I, I thought we settled down. Uh, and and uh, from an effort standpoint, I was pleased. But the things that we can control, like finishing our own plays and, and doing a much better job of, of keeping a very strong physical athletic team off the board, um, you know, we, we, didn't, we weren't quite successful. They were unbelievably hot in their own first half. They, I don't, I don't know what they were. They shot around 70 some percent in that first half, which was unprecedented. I mean, they have two great shooters in Lacey and Turner. They were hitting everything. Then their bigs were also contributing, uh, making in ones, finishing everything at the rim. So it was tough. I think we started rebounding the ball better. That allowed us to get out in transition to get higher outlets. So it allowed us to get easier shots. One thing we've shown this year, besides earlier in the season, that we, we won't quit. We, we always fight. We always know that we can come back in the game. We just got to learn to finish. I think this shows some character and some maturity on our part to fight back like that and not just, uh, I guess, go home with our tail between our legs, but to really just push and persevere. Next up for the Seminoles is another two-game road trip beginning on Monday as they take on Clemson up in Little John Coliseum. That'll wrap up things from the Tucker Center, LaneHurtSeminoles.com.